All right. When it comes to advertising your webcomic, there is a lot of advice out there and a lot of pretty typical advice. And I've tried most of like the main things out and I've sort of had mixed success with just mixed results with all the suggested tips on how to grow a webcomic audience. In the end, all the advice I can offer isn't really going to be guaranteed just the same that any of the advice I was given isn't really guaranteed to succeed in any way, shape, or form. Um, one of the most important things to understand about marketing your webcomic is that marketing is just like another skill, it's another type of art, it's creative, and you need to learn it, and you need to practice it, and you're not going to be amazing at it right out the gate. I can't just tell you simple tips and have you be amazing at marketing your comic right away. So don't feel bad about it, okay? It doesn't speak to you as a person, it's just a skill you need to learn. So uh, let's go over some few common pieces of advice that uh, people tend to give first-time webcomicers. Um, and then after which I will get into my more personal advice and things that have worked for me. So. The first piece of advice I have ever received, and I've heard it quite frequently, is to post frequently and consistently. Posting pages twice a week or once a week uh, being the recommended amount. I've even given out this advice, and I still do. However, the longer I've been at this, the more I've kind of changed my personal approach to it, and I don't really have much faith in this method for building an audience for a comic. I'll get deeper into why I think that's the case a bit later. However, I still think that if you're starting out at webcomics, shooting for one update every week is a really good idea, and it's a lot more simple than you would think it is, and I totally recommend it. Um, but I don't recommend it as a marketing strategy, okay? I, I personally found I didn't have any real audience growth in doing this, but it did teach me tons about scheduling, about getting comics done, and it really taught me to commit to something. And by the end of it, I had like two books worth of comics that I could sell, which ended up actually helping me um, with marketing a lot more. However, as a marketing idea alone, I don't think that updating your comic once a week is the go-to, right? That's all. Um, the next common answer I hear is to get on lists, get in groups, um, etc. And this is a good idea. I totally agree with this. I found a lot of traction by getting um, my comic into LGBT comic listings and contest contacting other lists and sites and groups. I don't do it so much anymore because I kind of have a lot more traction than some of the groups I, I used to submit to, and some of them are gone entirely. But early on, I think it's a really good idea. And even later on, it's not the worst idea because a lot of times it's free and it's pretty simple to do. Other similar options to this are cross-posting on hosting sites because hosting sites tend to already have an audience there and it's a good way to start building. Your results may vary. I found some good results with Tapas and Webtoons. However, I do find that a lot of the people who read my comics on Tapas and on Webtoons don't really engage with um, a lot of my content. Don't fully engage with my content in, in like the same way that someone who follows me on social media does. But, you know, it's still a good place to start. And especially if you are just beginning, I might look into webcomic hosting sites. Um, the next advice uh, given is to work on your social media presence, and this is a big one. I'll delve into this a lot when I get into my current advice, but social media is a really important part of building an audience. Um, you can probably build an audience somehow without like social media, but I found that I had a very personal reluctance to using a lot of social media and it was very much a detriment to me until I kind of moved past it. Um, the final piece of advice is, you know, just make a better comic. Sometimes when you aren't getting traction, it's just because you still have a lot to learn and like your comic is just very young and you might be young 
and and by young i just mean new to art or new to making comics and you might just need to improve on your skill so look honestly at your work um join critique groups look into getting an artist or a writer if you struggle in either of those areas and just keep improving your craft and keep going at it that would be my advice for that and i definitely agree that if your comic as isn't up to like a certain level you're gonna have a lot more of a difficult time getting people to read your comic so just keep at it okay and with all that out of the way let me get into my more advanced feelings um i've been doing comics for a while now um i'm still young though and i'm sure like my opinions on all of this will change again but here's my current feelings as of 2018, very end of 2018. Uh, you don't need to post every week. And, and well, okay, let me rephrase that. You don't need to post comic pages every week. I used to post like, well, me and Ursula used to post like four days a week and we would get very little traction for this. Um, we did this for about five-ish years until finally taking a step back and looking at things from a, a different standpoint. I've looked at other comics I love, other books I'd read, and then I came to kind of like a bit of a realization. Having a comic isn't how you get an audience. Um, getting an audience is how you get people to see your comic. And I felt, I feel like I might have been putting the cart before the horse a little bit, especially with the advice about posting every week. Yes, there are passionate comic lovers that are out there and they will find your comic and, and on lists and they'll read it, but getting other people or people who are already reading a lot and might not want to add another thing to their list, you know, to find those people, you need to find an opportunity to pitch your comic to them. But that kind of just like knocks everything off the table. Like all, all the original advice kind of feels kind of difficult now. Like where do you start? Well, it starts with building your social media platform. And I heard this a million hecking times, but I would not listen to it because I don't, it was scary. It was new and I didn't know what to do. And so let's, let's, let's start there. So let's assume you're making a comic already. You're, you're doing well on the update front. I don't think you should set that aside by any means, um, because it's important for your development as a comic maker and an artist. But let's say you have like zero followers and your life is hopeless and you don't know what to do. So where do we go from here? Well, when I first started doing comics, the best way I got Pretty Mouth fans was by engaging the comic community. Heck, by getting Sovereign fans. That was a whole struggle too. It was, But either way, it was about engaging the community. In other words, I made friends. Um, when you're a small bean, starting out is all about making friends. Um, forget about the whole audience thing. It's it's networking. It's finding cool people to follow, reaching out to others in the same place as you, and growing together. Like there's plenty of places to do this. I know Tapas has forums. Um, I've I started personally with Smack Jeeves back in the day, and I and you know what? I also have. I, I guess I could plug this, but I have a small Discord community, me and Ursula do. It's in the description below, and there's lots of comic makers there, because they like watching comic making videos, and I think they're all pretty cool beans. I'd recommend maybe going there and making friends. You're welcome to join. Um, but yeah, making friends is just really important when you're starting out. Focus on having a small following of people you really like rather than focusing purely on the numbers. You might not get readers right away. Other important things I did was because my money allowed it, and I know not everyone can do this, but I went to conventions and I sold at conventions because I'd been working on comics so long. I had um, pretty mouth volumes and I would sell them. I personally love pitching books and that's like a whole other topic for another day. But I loved pitching my books, meeting people, getting my books in people's hands, and selling them. And that was a very good way to start building relationships and getting followers. Um, getting involved with the con circuit, it just helped me start building my community. And there are people that I met in the con circuit that still follow me to this day and are some of the most lovely people and some of them like, brighten my day whenever I see them at a convention. Uh, the next important part of building an audience is creating an online persona 
or a identity. Um, going along with the idea of building an audience in order to showcase your book, you have to have a reason for people to follow you in the first place. Something other than your comics. Uh, this is really tricky. Um, it took me forever. Your persona is both you and it isn't you. Look look at the people you follow and, and think about what you find interesting about them and then sort of try and figure out what's interesting about yourself. Like what's what personally can you offer to the internet? Um, pick social media platforms you like and use them uh, and give the ones you hate like a month at least to try. Like try posting to this new social media platform that you hate for every day for a month and see if you still hate it, and if you if you absolutely detest it, you don't have to be there. Personally, I canned social media platforms I didn't like way too quickly, and I'm an annoyed with myself in, in the present day that I didn't continue growing them. But you know, live and learn. And, and while you're on these social media platforms, what do you post? Um, instead of focusing on comics, think about what else there is about you. Think about what it's easy to make content of daily. Because instead of focusing so hard on creating beautiful pages to put out, which you're going to do on the side, um, focus on what is easy content for you. What isn't going to cause you stress to make? Do you doodle fan art? Do you have cute pets you take pictures of? Do you like to bake? Do you like teaching people and doing tutorials? Like, Think about your interests and think about what you can do with them. You could start an Instagram of pet pics. Um, you could educate people on dinosaurs on Twitter if you really like dinosaurs. You could do story time videos. Um, it becomes sort of a blend of both your art and things that you like. It just showcases your personality. I've seen all sorts of things that people do to be interesting and to share themselves with the internet. And and then you kind of blend this all up with your comic work and that's sort of the <laughs> that's sort of how it works. Posting daily and weekly then becomes a lot easier for you. Instead of work focusing so hard on comic deadlines and stressing yourself beyond the point of exhaustion, um, it becomes easier to stay in contact with your community. Because if um, taking pictures of your cats is really easy, you can always share pictures of your cats, and people always know that you're still alive, and they are still able to talk with you and feel connected with you. And yeah, like art is really labor intensive, whereas like doodling and showing off your studies or your um, or your fan art or anything that you just kind of throw out there, it just becomes a lot easier and a lot more shareable for people because there might be more like relatable content to it. It's it's a bit confusing, but it, like I, I hope I'm making sense. And like while you do that, as as you build that, you just kind of keep at it and you try different things and you make sure to research the platforms you're on because each kind of favors different things and different years favor different like things too. Like the platforms are always changing and it's good to kind of keep up on how they work and what they like. In, in relation to that, look at what large creators are doing and look at what big companies are doing um, in your space and in different spaces um, because you can then question why they are doing something the way that they are doing it and whether or not you could make it work for you. It's um, it's it's an important part of marketing. Just like, uh, like I said, marketing is like a artistic endeavor and much like you need to look at other artists and see what they're doing to be to get ideas and to learn different things. You need to look at different marketing examples to understand how you want to market things. And basically what you're looking to do with your social media platform is you're looking to be interesting because of something that comes really naturally to you and gets you the results that you like. Like if you start building an audience and you really don't like the audience that you're getting, it's kind of time to change your approach. And with all of this said, with all of this like building a persona thing and like making <laughs> it makes the idea of just like having a Twitter sound like really intense. 
which it is and it isn't because honestly it's it's a lot more chill than you think it is but but like what's the point of all this like what's the point of posting pictures of my cats how does that relate to me getting people reading my comic um why do why do this what does it have to do with comics well for one people are more likely to read things they know exist like really easy concept here but if people are following you and then you post your comics they're more likely to see it than if you just post your comics to an empty room um secondly people are more likely to engage with things um from people they like uh people are more likely to buy comics from people they like people are more likely to read comics from people they like um they are inherently already interested in you and so when they see the thing they're more likely to give it a shot than if um, it was just some random comic that showed up and has to stand completely on its own merit as a comic. And, you know, it, it's a lot easier if they already like It's a lot easier to sell something if they already like you. And that all leads me to the final thing I'd like to discuss today, which is plugging your work. Don't be shy about plugging your work. Like, post new updates, remind people you have a store, just do it. Anytime you ask someone to do something, that's called a call to action, a call to action or a CTA. And these things are annoyingly effective and we all hate doing them. Even though they like they're weird, they're awkward to do, but they are effective and they are important. Um and if you feel gross about telling people to go check out your webcomic, remind yourself that your work is good. Um, and that you think it's good and you think people should read it. And that in some cases, when you don't leave a link to your work or don't tell people about your comic, it's more annoying than if you do promote it. If they like you and they want to follow you everywhere, they're going to be very upset when they realize, oh, I could have been following you on Instagram this whole time. Or if you're doing a sale in a store and people were looking to buy your book and they didn't ever hear about the sale, they'll be a little annoyed because they're like, wow, I could have got 10% off. How dare you know, promoting doesn't have to feel like a bad thing, okay? And so when you have a new page, it's the same thing. Um, a good way to think about it, especially on um, social media, is to kind of go for about 10% of promoting your content and then the other 90% just be like cat pics or whatever it is that um, is you. Um <laughs> And, and and be creative while you're promoting things. Um, you, you don't have to do a really beautiful ad every time you promote a product. It's perfectly fine to put up a sad picture of your cat that's captioned like, she's crying because she's worried you didn't see today's update, and then uh, subtweet a, um, a link to your comic update like that's fine that is as valid as any marketing strategy like black friday sales it's perfectly fine if it gets people interested and they click it's cool you know just have fun with it and be yourself and try new things and remember that it is about being creative and it is not like it's not gar nothing is really guaranteed to work and you need to like just be yourself, learn to kind of enjoy sharing your work with people. And one more thing about that post every, post an update every week. I find it silly now, especially when I think about how other books are sold and how it's much easier. I find it personally, personally, I've always found it much easier to sell a single book than it is to sell a new update every week. But that's just me. I don't know. Like that's, I say sell, but like, I don't know. It's not always about money, isn't it? Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave the questions below. And like I said, check out the Discord. Like, there's tons of comic-y people there, and like, making friends is a super important thing. Because even if none of this advice <laughs> works for you at all, making friends with other people who have comics, they probably have great advice too that you should maybe check out and listen to. Who, who the heck even knows? And because I am not afraid of promoting my things, please check all my social media links in the description below. I post pictures of my cats and of baked goods. I made fudge. It's I'm really proud of my fudge and I think it deserves a like. Um, and check out our Etsy store. Um, 
I don't think anything's going to get to you by Christmas if you order it now. However, the money will get to me by Christmas, and I want to buy my dog's cute sweaters. So please consider. Actually, actually, most of um most of the money from Etsy is going to like fund my surgery, not dog sweaters. Um, you know, that's that's fun. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys not tomorrow. Ursula will see you tomorrow. I'll see you the day after that. Goodbye.